everyone. Feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or The Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Oh, man, that's, that is insensitive. I am so sorry, where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. Anywho. something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw in some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. 
only way he communicates is with them this. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens... I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. 
Yeah, Dix got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Guy's up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but t buck she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, is it? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. I'll talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, adios. Oriano. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date, me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Yeah, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do.
Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Lee. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Karoshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? OK. 
Okay, let's test this. Let's see the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guy, that's you. Who's winning? Punch it. Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, Anything yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber-psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> you're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. What is life without its body? What are the rules?
Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shark. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. If we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members, no matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. 
Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What a lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. T Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some Shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Nah, everything's out good. Best to get back to work then. Be in touch.
pissed out here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off me! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. 
Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead mob. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cub's already good as dead! But she'll take you down with her!
Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. We'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. Your movie. With Maelstrom, you just never know.